When you reassemble the carburetors and uh, you place the vacuum piston into the body, people very often end up pinching the rubber diaphragm when they put the cover back on because as you can see, it doesn't necessarily want to go into the groove. Let's put this guy away for a second so it doesn't get dusty or dirty. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is going to use a little bit of sealing grease on the underside of the cover. We're applying a very thin coat just here. I don't really want anything on the inside. Just the junction with the rubber diaphragm. Okay. Once we've done that, we need to put the same sealing grease into the groove, but we don't want to fill the groove. We just want to use enough grease so that the lip of our diaphragm can adhere to this momentarily before we install. So I think I put a little bit too much on, but that's okay. That's why we have two ends. Again, I don't want any of this stuff inside the bore. And we don't want to fill the groove entirely because it's going to come out when you insert the lip of the diaphragm. So that's really the ideal amount. Like so. Okay, now that we've gone all the way around, we can put the diaphragm in, but before I do that, I'm also going to put a little bit of the same sealing grease on the threads of our retaining screws. And that's because we would like to avoid corrosion between the dissimilar metals. The body of the carburetor is aluminum. These screws, even though they're coated with zinc or nickel, these screws are steel. So eventually the zinc coating is gonna be sacrificed and uh, the body of the carb is gonna become the anode. So if you grease these threads really well and prevent any electrolytic substance from entering the junction, it's gonna really help. And also it's gonna make the screws easier to remove next time you have to rebuild the carb. Okay. Let's install the vacuum piston. And so you can see what happens when you just push this in. You can see that it stays in the groove. And we know that when we put the uh, cover back on, it's not going to pinch anything. 